Hello, thank you for joining me on another episode of Welcome to My World. We are back, another fan episode, and today we are going to be building our bed. Not technically on this day, um, but the day you're going to be watching this video. We are going to start by going to Costco this evening, and we're going to buy, <coughs> excuse me, um, a mattress. Hopefully, we can find one. I've seen them in there before, so hopefully, they've got them um, tonight. Because um, I like the fact that you can go and try them. I don't like just buying them from shops where you can't try them um so yeah so we're just going to go to costco we're going to take you with us see what mattresses we find and then the next part of the video will be us starting to build the bed so let's go to costco we are at costco costco we have come to costco no mattresses but look at these little blankets we could have our own little can we have our own throws for what for <laughs> the bed you want I, your need own new, I need a new I need a new memory foam pillar. This is real nice. Is that a panda? Is that a panda? Yeah. I love it. We should buy it because it's panda. <coughs> is it a memory foam we want? No. They're the ones that squid up into nothing. It's not a big sponge. They're really good then. My mum was saying she's got one and it's really good. Um where was that one over there? On the bed, wasn't it? Yeah, that's what I'm looking for. Ooh. Ooh. Look at this, beaut. Ooh. Milo will love that. Are we going to get new cutlery and stuff? Probably. Probably. We just take a spoon out of the drawer before we go. Well, maybe it's too nice as well. <laughs> just a spoon, that's why you're allowed. Alright, we found the uh, mattresses, thanks to the guy, but it is. Uh, look how cheap they are, guys. It's a silent night, 99 pounds, well, 120 with 380. 800 pocket springs, that's pretty good. That is really good. So if you come to Costco, guys, I said they're getting rid of their uh, last bits of stock. I can't believe it. A silent night and 120 quid. They're a laugh. Can't we just cut it up? <laughs> They're never going to find one this cheap. But the double one would have been well cheap. That's why they've all sold out, haven't they? Bastards. I'm sat rocking on the chair. All Sam looks for more mattresses or more Costco's. I wonder if the Coventry one has got one. They've got beds and for beds still open to late, but they're quite expensive from what I remember. It sort of annoys me when I see something cheap though, like... I want it for that price then, you know. Guys, we've come to Dreams and we've got Benson for Beds over there. Wish us luck. You can make the video. Thanks. So just while you're waiting for it to go, if you come round here, they try just explain the mattresses for you. Okay. So, yeah, okay. that's what we've got, it's got the memory phone. Oh, okay, yep. so yeah. There we go. Let's so it's on. ready now for you. Have okay. a lay down. Let's get on. Thanks for taking three minutes to let's see the perfect mattress for you. Shopping for a mattress is never easy with all that choice out there. How was that? You can jump up now. <laughs> it was moving around. What does it say? Look, there are results. Because it's, it's suggesting a medium to a firmer feel. Okay. Right, guys, we're in Benson for beds. Let's see what we find. In here, if they let me record, I don't know if they will or not. Let's see what we've got. Four hundred and fifty fish mattress, six hundred springs. So you would either have to collect it yourself, okay, or we can get someone to deliver it to you. Obviously, if we were to deliver, they would charge. No, we can only let them in. We carry it to the van. Yeah, you can park up at the forecourt. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, just 
pounds on this one. And what is this one? What type? It's an open coil mattress. This one. Okay. What's that mean? Uh, two different springs, open coil and pocket sprung. Pocket sprung is individually sprung. Whereas open coil is an interlocking spring system, so it works as well. It's like the old big springs, isn't it? Yeah, yeah, so it's an interlocking spring system. Yeah, you can hear them. What do you think? It's definitely firm. Off we go, guys. We've got our bed now. Thank you, Benson and Beds. You didn't let us down. This is our wood. It's huge. These are pallets. Not a normal standard pallet, but real big thick chunky pallets so and this is going to be for our bed <laughs> so it's not going to break I have a thing about breaking but Sam says I'm an engineer this is what I do so I trust him with these big thick pieces of wood be fine. that was from a pallet that was about 8 foot by 8 foot and had an 18 quarter kilo lump of metal on it amazing and this is what we're going to be using for our bed let's see I think oh, I still got to go and get more bits so you can show up the sink oh, and I'll yeah. go and get the rest of the bits Perfect. is this me the sink I got it from Spock, it was brand new. Somebody ordered a kitchen from um, one of them posh kitchen places and it came as extra. And um, they sent them it for free, so they sold it off for like 20 quid or something. Okay, so pretty good. And it's brand new. And got all the attachment bits in fine. Yeah. Right, so this is all our equipment that we're going to be using. What's that big thing there? Which one of the big things? That one. That's the chop saw. Okay. Wow. And what's that battery thing? That's a transformer, so the chop saw is 110 volts, so you need a transformer to drop the voltage. Oh, from mains? Yeah. Fabulous. Don't pick it up, it's heavy. I just did, I moved it to there. <laughs> Let's get on to building our bed. Right, so we're going to move the mattress into place, put some masking tape on the floor so we know where to go, and then we're going to put the... Um, then we can take the take mattress, the mattress out. out. To work. Okay, let's do that. Come on, I'm going to stand it this way. Yeah, I thought you were going to stay that side though, so that you could put the tape on the floor. <laughs> I can go back around. This is roughly where it will go, so our cupboard will be about this wide, the chamber. Okay. And then, just need to put some masking tape on the floor at the front of it. I try and get right up to where the mattress actually sits and ignore the bag. Measure that length and we'll put the tape all the way across to the same length. What a mess, we're like Steptoes Yard, didn't we? It's amazing. <laughs> What's that one? A long one. It's also very handy when you realise you've forgotten to bring the tape measure out. Is that ours? Yeah, we had loads of these in the van at one point, we put them all up through the beams for the floor. Oh, that's why I recognise them. What are you marking out? The Just marking out where the bed frame's going to come to. Okay. Didn't want my cheap one inch masking tape last week. This week he's begging for it. That has its uses. <laughs> it was crap to go around the van to be fair. It was a bit um leaky. Even Lola would just fit in there. waste but it like you said if even if Lola goes in there that gives Milo more room out there even if it's just Lola that goes in there yeah I don't know if that's pointless then because it's no room but that's the room Lola will fit with. Lola will fit in there but we can't give them any more room in that because we need it for storage and being well, able to bring stuff the cupboards the overhead space the wardrobe you got to remember from about this height you're gonna have this whole section all the way up from back there to all the way up here. That's a big section. Yeah, it is. It's a lot of storage. That's where most of our storage is in the van. In our bedroom? Yeah. All right, that's roughly the space we can give the dogs, which isn't bad. It could be, it's only gonna be for Lola, really. Because then that just means Milo's got a bigger space out there, doesn't it? Yeah. 
You might find Milo goes through it anyway. He might go like um like in it, like his bum hanging out. He could probably go in and turn tightly and then He would reverse if he had to, because it's not that long. Yeah. He might find he just backs himself into it. No, oh, I hope he does, that'd be cute. Right. right, so we'll do the first cuts. Okay. We'll put the base in first, that's 171. Then we're gonna measure the gap between these two, unbolt these the wood to length, bolt these back on and then that will give us the height as well. Oh because that's just... how high we're going to do our bed. Exactly and then we'll start working our way forward. We're gonna, if we sit up in the night we'll be hitting our head on the ceiling. <laughs> I might, you won't. Mm. Yeah. You a bit? Me? You? Me? Okay. Yeah. So we can glue and screw this into place or what would probably be a better idea is if we put this top piece in. Oh, from the brackets? Yeah, then we can measure the gap between them Okay. and then we can screw them down into this already before we screw this to the floor. Okay. Otherwise we won't be able to get to the screws on the underside of this to screw up into the other ones. Okay. We're just screwing the brackets onto the end of a piece of wood. Yep. And the, screw that onto the van. We're using the. Did we say that before? I can't remember. They we were said. like uh, seatbelt anchor points or something originally. Okay. So we kept the brackets and we're going to use them to. For the height of the bed. Yeah. Basically. So if you drill us a pilot hole this side, then we'll flip it around and do a pilot hole on the other side. Right, okay. Yes. Right, drink, drink, drink. Oh. Nice one. Switch it round, get out. Right. Oh, I've got it Into our little pilot hole. Oops, hang on. Missed the pilot hole. Alright, go for it. Nice. Beautiful. Right, now we're hoping this, when we put the brackets, well, they are the brackets, I'm hoping it they line back place. up to put back into the pan. Let's All see. Right, if we stick them in loose, then we'll level it out and uh, nip it up, and then we can start taking measurements between the two heights. Sorry, you might need to. You don't want them all the way in? No, not at the moment. We just want them loose and then we'll get everything nice and level. Cool. Uh, I got it in. <laughs> That's what he said. <laughs> he does not play that. Just so you know. That's the first bit of our bed, guys. What do you think? Sam's on the bottom bunk and I'm on the top. <laughs> no, I don't think so. <laughs> All right, this side needs to come up a touch. You can just knit this side up, we'll see where we end up. One key. So 
we're going to put one down there. Yeah. And one down there. Yeah. We won't frame out these middle ones yet because we'll start making the floor boards for that end. Where's the garage? It's going to be through here. I'm going. And then the bed's going to sit up here. It'll cool. be about that wide. Do they not fit? This one fits. I doubt you're pushing it in. Well, it's supposed to be tight. <laughs> That one is in and square. That's your one anyway. Sorry? That's your one. <laughs> Just make it fit, yeah? <laughs> that one's came out. Is that broke? No. And this one's going. Can you see with a pencil? I've got your pencil, look. Yeah, the pencil's fine. Right, so now we're going to take these out, take this outside, drill down into it from the other side and screw these in place. What, to so the bottom one into the floor? And yeah, then... so you'll have a screw coming through here, up here kind of thing. Okay. And then we can glue and screw this into the floor and then screw this to that and it's all locked together. So it's locked into the floor and it's locked into the van walls. Fabulous. Nice and secure. So we're going to glue and screw these, not that they really need it, but may as well. Is that Gorilla Glue? It is. So the shit stuff? Hey, it's good stuff. Why don't you do it upside down? Because then I won't be able to put the drill through the floor. Oh yeah. It's kind of straight. on the one because that tree stump's shorter I'm making sure that surface is flat to that surface well, you drew lines anyway didn't you where it's going yeah if you can grab the drill okay. I've already put the drill bit in it okay we just want two holes yeah. and that's so you want to go about an inch away from the edge and in the middle of this piece and just go in as far as the drill will let you and I'll try and hold this so nothing moves that's a torque like the impact gun. What's that? You said you. There's a drill there. Ah! They were not in frame! Okay, and then you want to do the same at that end. Yeah. It's only a small pilot hole, we don't want to make them too big. Fabulous. Alright, then if you get the impact drive you just had and take two of the really big screws out of the case. Well, not really big, but the biggest ones in there. These? Yeah. These are big. And uh, then you're going to screw them into those holes to the flush with the surface of the wood. Okay. Nice. Beautiful! Right, it didn't pop out anywhere, you put it in lovely. Ta-da! Right, same on the other side. Right, same on the other side. And then we'll stick it in the van and we'll put glue over all of this and we'll screw it into the floor. Nice. Right, we just need to bit of glue in there and drill down into it after we've put it on the floor. On the floor? Yeah, because we're going to glue and screw it into the floor. Oh yeah, okay. <laughs> Let's draw through these top pieces into here and then we'll screw this down onto here. Okay. So we got front ones, middle ones, middle-ish, we'll move them to wherever, doesn't matter. Back ones. So we're going to glue and screw these to the floor 
and then it's going to be a similar kind of thing where we build up from the wall we'll also put some supports in here these ones will just have the supports at these edges and we're going to build something over this wheel arch so we can also put upright struts in yeah and then we'll get lots of these in all at the same height and join them all together somehow fabulous next bit though is just glue and screw these to the floor cool These are screwed in the floor now. Yeah. Nice and solid, not going anywhere unless the van goes with them. Comes off on his hand. Yeah, I don't think so. <laughs> we need to do some uprights now. So ideally we want to do it upright near the wall, although that one's got a cable in the way, so we'll shuffle it out that way a bit. We need upright, 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 upright. Right. And then we need to make some uprights to go over the wheel arch. But, but. I need to find the pocket hole jig that we bought seven eight months ago i don't know where it is it might be in the shed okay so i need to go and have a quick look for that off your butt in the meantime if you want you can saw some wood okay i'll do that we need one two three at least six pieces the same height as these ones screwed into the floor so we yeah. can't screw through from the underside and go into the base of these like we've done with that one yeah so what we're gonna use is our pocket hole jig so all it is is it's a guide for a drill yeah and when a drill bit goes in it comes out at an angle so you can go if you have it on a piece of wood like that it's gonna go down into it like that and then come into the piece down below oh that's clever it is it's a nice cheap one off Amazon as well. Normally these are quite expensive, but this was like 15 quid. Oh wow, that's so genius. We'll put a bit of glue on each one like that, line it up. It comes with a nice little clamp. Let me move all of this Which side. is really horrible. No, it doesn't actually reach far enough. That's not helpful at all. These aren't going to be quite central because the clamp's rubbish. I think a little clamp. It's a baby clamp. <laughs> anyway, we'll clamp it like that. They're going to be a forward a little bit, but they're big chunks of wood. It's not going to matter. Run the drill down into each one as far as it goes. And then just run a screw, screw down the hole when we're done. We'll use the long screws again, and that'll drive nicely into this piece of wood. Cool. Right. those ones in nice just showing you how to do it the long way because we could have just uh... we could have done it the same as this way <laughs> just but we got them. too excited when we had all the boards sitting on the floor and just screwed them all into the floor <laughs> yeah we could have just it would have been uh... quicker to just unscrew them but it would have been messy of all the glue but we've got to show you how to use the bracket thing pocket hole jig thing pocket hole jig thing never mind they're done anyway now so uh, we're gonna have a coffee break and then we'll be back Right guys, we're back. We've had a break. Well, I have. Sam's been really busy. I've been sorting stuff. Um, he's cut all these planks of it's got wood. Dark now. This thing's a uh, bit over the top. <laughs> it's overkill. But we yeah, get... it's massively but overkill. I was also panicking. Imagine if the, the bed broke when the dogs are underneath. Well, oh. it was. Have heart attack. It's been made supported, so the dogs can go under it no problem. And. Uh, it's going to be no problem. It's going to be very well supported. So this middle section here will be for the dogs. That they're probably not going to both fit under there. Maybe just no, low will probably, probably go low lamp. So yeah. So we've got all these ones here. Yeah. So these two will screw into this piece, and they'll go upright like that. Yeah. And then we'll screw that piece into the floor afterwards. So we haven't got to bother with bloody pocket holes. 
<laughs> yeah, we learn our lesson last time. These two are going to have to have pocket holes into the bottom one, and they're just extra uprights for in this one. Yeah, because we've done that last And then we'll year. screw down into that from above. This one's got an extra little bit on the side that I'm going to screw into the wall because there's a cable there that we need to be able to get to. So that'll okay. go like that. So it'll go behind it? Yeah, and then the one on the other side would just go up against the wall. What, so you'll have another one? Oh, that, yeah, that one that's laying yeah, down. That yeah, that one that's laying down. These wheel arches are a little bit problematic, so the basic design is we're going to have uprights on it like that. They will push back further. Yeah. And then these pieces will go across in the gap like that, and we'll drill and glue all those in. Okay. So you have one there, one at this end. Yeah. It'll be the same on that side. And then I think we've got enough wood left. Because out. that's a gap, should we not like if we've got extra wood, maybe put a piece there just because it's where? Like there. Where's there? Like next to the uh, wheel arch, like in that little. What you mean up in this piece? Yeah. If we've got spare, definitely, yeah. Yeah. I don't know if we're going to have it there. Yeah. If we do enough. have enough spare, what I want to do is put two uprights back here. Where? I would. <laughs> so um. effectively, a piece that comes up to this height. And six here, and then the same on the other side. That would just drill into the wall and to the floor. Well, just to the wall, I guess. Yeah, kind of... the, we won't have enough to do a full length across the floor, no. but it's short by about an inch and a half if we use one of those pieces. Yeah. So we'll just use a different one. Yeah. But that's it. We just need to glue and drill these things into position. Probably run out of screws halfway through and then go raiding the screw packets. Yeah. That's about it. It's coming together. same height they should be more or less if any require any little spaces or anything we'll add those in glue and screw it all down throw the mattress on clean up and we're done for the night yay then tomorrow we'll varnish this stuff and we'll take a trip to B&Q while it's drying to find the boards to go on top sorry I was recording uh, without your head in how did you see your neck yeah no one needs my head <laughs> one doesn't need anything that's just going glue and screw that one can go straight down beautiful am I gluing, glue and screwing you are, you are. Okay. So the impact driver's over there, oh. and I've got a box of screws over here. Okay. Right, guys, our bed is built. What do you think? It is nice and sturdy. Um... We're going to go tomorrow and get some wood yeah, like flats to go sheep. on the top. And then uh, and that's it. And then our bed is built. We're so gonna this is absolutely solid at the moment. I know it's not braced. Like it's only going left to right, so it goes into the floor and into the walls. And it's not braced between each of these except for down here. But, but because this is going to be a kennel, there's going to be like tongue and groove going all the way back across all three of them. And then the remaining two at the back are going to be all locked in with the plywood that goes down on top. Okay. So it is all going to be tied in. In all honesty, it doesn't really matter if it's not because this is solid. All it's right. massively overbuilt. Cool. Love it. And we're gonna and we're gonna have our mattress on, and then we're gonna have a, quite a big closet on the left side. Yes. Let's uh, put the mattress on, and then we'll show what room we've got left. Sounds good. What? This vent's got a little easier to adjust. Huh. And the mattress is on. Obviously, we're keeping it in the plastic cover because... Uh, we've also got the memory foam topper on as well. Yeah. Which makes it even thicker. But we've got a proper mattress. None of this air mattress custom foam nonsense. We don't have a dining table, but... We've got a slide-up one. Yeah, good. And look at all the room we got. Yeah, let me show you. There must be... A... There must be a good foot down there that we can use to build the wardrobe in. So this is going to be our wardrobe. 
big wardrobe, Space. full bed length. Where's the uh, tape measure? I have no idea. Oh, I was going to measure. Now, could you hold that side? You want me to do it? All right. You're going to have to go like that. Do it. We've got 13 inches of cupboard space. It's nice. So, that wide. And that's it. That's our bed built. I like it. And you can sit up in there. Or are you yeah. squatting forward? I'm squatting a little bit, but not really. So you can get your head out the roof? So it don't come off, does it? No. Okay. Love it. Guys, we're back. It's the next day. We absolutely can't be bothered. <laughs> but we're going to push ourselves to do it. We thought we'd finish, really, because once we got the board, but now... Yeah we realised we've got to varnish the bed frame. So I'm going to do that again, probably on time lapse. And then, and then, yeah, let me show you. Um, to oh, massively over the top bed frame. Yeah. And Don't then support an elephant. Yeah. Look at you got. Uh, all right, stop doing that just in case. Yeah. It's not going to go anywhere. Just, you never know, do you? You never know. But yeah, so right, we're going to, time lapse and we're gonna paint the frame and we've got oh we've just been to bean to you again and they are boards over there the ones on the floor oh no not them <laughs> there are the boards um we've just got our boards we've got three boards um we're gonna do it that way six mil or nine mil ply i don't remember yeah one of the two and uh once we've ironed we'll stick them on and then we'll show you where i'll show you i'll say bye and do an outro So we've run out of paint. Um, yeah, we'll have to get some more another day. Yeah, well, varnish. It's quite there. nice back here. Yeah, let me come around another really look. Like look. Right, this is around the back. Um, this is the stained, varnished wood. And all over the floor. And all over the floor. The floor's getting covered. So yeah. Cares. So we've got like down to what two, two beams, two the, lots of done, and then the third. Yeah, we probably need another pot of varnish. Maybe two. Yeah. If we put that up to that edge. Yeah. And then this is still on here, but it also gives me something to screw into to build the wardrobe up from. And also you said we were gonna put things so the mattress didn't slide back. Yeah, it gives forward. us room to put a lip back here so the mattress doesn't slide around because the front end's gonna have a whole piece of wood screened over the whole front. Okay. So that actually looks quite good. That might just go in as is. Sam's just cutting the last bit now to go in for under the wardrobe and then I'm going to go, I don't know if you can see this green bit here, I'm going to go and drill some holes and um, put some screws in so that it will stop the mattress from falling forward. Not, that's all it wants to do. All right, so the way we're going to do this is we're going to start from this corner, wedge it in as close as we can, and yeah. then I'm going to lift this one up yeah. so we can see where the beams are to screw into. And we're just going to put, say, one in this beam, one in that beam. It only needs two to stop it moving around for now. Okay. And then we'll do the next one, and then the next one.
Right guys, so this is our bed frame finished. Just need to varnish the bottom bit, but you've seen enough varnishing and stuff, so you don't need to see that. But this is pretty much, that's it. Our bed frame is done. Um, you can see and the this dog kennel. is our big space for the wardrobe. And this is the dog kennel in there. <laughs> They're gonna love it. If we end up with spare space on the wardrobe side, like underneath, we'll do little cubby boxes and we'll do removable bits so you can put stuff down in them. Cool. Right guys, that's the end of the video. I know it's probably a long one again, but I think people like the longer van videos. Um, thank you for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe to our channel. Watch out for more van videos. We're going to be on the van a lot now. Um, probably the shower, maybe next. Yeah, these boards will be secured more than two screws as well. It's yeah, just, they've just, got to come out a lot at the moment. Yeah, we've got to do more varnishing, so we just put a couple of screws so they're secure, but we can take them out and put more screws in after to secure it properly. Yep. That's it. See you next Friday at 7 pm. Click that notification bell to know when I upload new videos. Thank you very much. Bye. Bye.